Welcome to a brand new episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. And I've got to say, I have seriously missed this series. Now, this isn't a return to regular episodes in this series. This is more so a one-off special episode, if you will, which I'm thinking I'll do once a year or so, but who knows? Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more regular episodes of this series once more. Either way, given that we haven't done one of these in a while, I thought I'd do a roundup of 10 of my all-time favorite Nova Launcher Base setups that I've seen so far this year. As always, each of these setups were submitted to my very own customization app palette, which I'll leave a link to down in the description below. But that means that each of them have all the assets that you need all within palette so that you can recreate them on your own phones super quickly. Now, just for reference, I'm not gonna be walking you through how to recreate each of these setups in this video. So if you are looking for guidance in that area, then make sure to watch this video here, which I'll link to up in the cards and down in the description below. But with that being said, here are my favorite Nova Launcher setups for 2023. Okay, kicking off the list today is this setup called the Game Boy Thing, which was submitted by regular contributor to Palette, Amaral Eason. This may look like a pretty complex setup, but in reality, most of the heavy lifting is done by that fantastic wallpaper, which comes from an application called Wallers. And with the app open, if you tap on this Wallers icon and scroll down, you'll see that the app has a few other wallpapers in that similar style, which is pretty cool. But then aside from that, we also have a pretty detailed widget at the top there, which is actually just a single widget taken from the Concept Nothing widget pack for KWGT. And then strategic strategically placed along the Game Boy hinge is another widget taken from the nothing but different KWGT pack. Oh, and by the way, if you're ever wondering what specific widgets are being used in each setup, then if you tap this more button here within palette, you'll be taken down to this additional detail section, which not only contains the widget names, but also the name of the wallpaper where applicable. Aside from that, we also have six icons placed around the bottom edge of the setup, which have been made using the Icon Pack Studio application. And that is it for this setup. Second on the list today is a beautifully minimal and dark setup submitted by another regular contributor to Palette, Raghav Kurana. And this setup is called Classy. The wallpaper from this setup comes from the Warleak Plus application, and it's also called Classy. And then aside from that, we've got one big clock and day widget in the middle there, which comes from the Placid KWGT app. And the below that are 10 applications laid out in a five by two configuration, each of which come from the Glow Icons pack, which suits this setup beautifully. And to contrast that super dark setup, next up is this beautifully bright and light setup called Sofa Chair, submitted by SK Wallpapers. And you ready for this? Every single asset in this setup comes from the one application. Yep, that fantastic wallpaper, that clock widget, and each of the icons, they're all from an application called Adaptive Tunes. And this just makes the setup that much more simpler to recreate. Big fan of setups that use assets or from the one app. Then we have another vibrant setup from another regular contributor to Palette, Kushal War, and this one is called Nature Lover. The wallpaper is from the Wall Factory application and it's called Flower 27. And then that big date, weather, notification, day, and time widget at the top there, that is widget 061 from the Cream KWGT pack. Then at the bottom, we have five icons from the Chic Light Icon pack. And that's it, super simple. After that is another really visually striking setup called Shining Light Colors. And this was submitted to Palette by a user who goes by the name Macintosh Guy. And that seriously neat wallpaper is from the Mini Wall Wallpapers application and is called Minimal Tree V1. Then at the top there, we have a search bar, time, date, and weather widget, which is widget 98 from the Fusion for KWGT pack. And then last but not least, down the bottom, we have 10 icons laid out in a very nice 10 by two configuration. And they are all using icons from the Nebula icon pack. All right, halfway down the list now, and next up on the list of my favorite setups for the year is this super cute setup called Duck in Pond. And this was submitted by Kit Kat Sojip. And again, that wallpaper is arguably the key ingredient in terms of what is making this setup stand out from the jump. It's from the Wallfab application and it's called Q20. 
But I will say that super clean date, weather and time widget at the top there, it also looks just about as nice as that wallpaper does. And it's been taken from the Crown KWGT pack, widget C57 to be precise. And then finally, those five icons down the bottom, which also look mighty fine, those are from the A-Line yellow icon pack. And you gotta admit, all of the assets used in this setup match each other beautifully. And from one minimal setup to another, next is this incredibly clean looking setup called Chic Cute Mini Tree, which was submitted by another regular contributor, Christian Galvez. That wallpaper is from the Lunar Wallpapers application and it's called Cute Mini Tree. Then we have two widgets in this setup, both of which are from the Sheer KWGT pack. The top time and date widget is called AW004 and the widget towards the bottom is called AW139. Then at the bottom, we have five app icons, each of which come from the Chic Light Icon Pack. And so again, another collection of fantastic assets that go together beautifully. But in case you were looking for something a little more vibrant, well then how about this one submitted by Mango Setups titled Sunrise. That amazing wallpaper comes from the Wall Candy application and it's not so creatively titled 697479, but then below that beautiful sunrise vector in the middle there, we have a day, date, time and weather widget. And this is from the Delta KWGT app, which is widget 017. Then finally, down the bottom are seven app icons, each of which are from the Light Void Icon Pack, which just looks super neat. Okay, second to last today, we have another setup from Amaral Eason called Jazzy. This setup is quite a bit more complex than most of the previous setups, but it's for those of you who are looking for something not so minimal, which I know most of the previous setups have been, but this setup uses assets from a total of six different applications, believe it or not. The first of which is that wallpaper. So it's been taken from the fairly fresh off the press application called Wall Art, and it doesn't have a name or a number, unfortunately, but if you scroll far enough down through this free category, hopefully you'll find it. Then up the top there is a music player widget called A14, which is from the Concept KWGT app. Then along the side there, we have a date and time widget, which is widget 31 from the Nothing Widgets application. Next to that is a very vibrant weather widget from the Hills KWGT app, which is widget number 10. And then that search bar widget is from the Nothing Reloaded KWGT pack, and it's widget 19. Then the last asset in this setup are those six icons down the bottom there, each of which are using icons from the Adaptive Tunes icon pack. And so yes, a pretty wild amount of assets being used, but a pretty great end result nonetheless. And so finally today, we have this incredibly eye-catching setup called Serene, also submitted by Raghav Karana. That beautiful wallpaper has been taken from the Moonlit Walls application and it's called Serene 51. And then right underneath that lighthouse vector, we have a very clean date, time and search widget, which is widget number 87 from the Bonsai KWGT pack. Then below that are five application icons, each of which are using icons from the Fishy Cons white icon pack. Finally, at the very bottom there is a music player widget, and this is widget 83 from the mini music for KWGT pack. And I've got to say, despite each of these assets being from completely different applications, they all work together beautifully. And so there you have it. Those were my 10 favorite Nova Launcher setups out of all of the setups submitted to Palette this year. And in case you didn't know, if you have Palette installed, then you can actually click on any of the setup links below to open them directly within Palette. Aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.